Happy Monday, guys. We've got a semi truck out and the 8335 is unhooked from the planter. The new planter has found its way inside. I think the previous owner kept it outside, so we're gonna treat her right and put it inside. Here's where I unhooked the Freightliner from. That thing needs new batteries. That trailer's good, that trailer's good. This thing needs a few things fixed on it. So we are going to bring it in to a shop and have them do it because we have lots of other stuff to do. We are on the road again. Hopefully they don't break the back window. Rocks tonight. This thing's got an Eaton 10 speed in it. Yeah, it's probably my favorite truck. Bob Taylor. Here, ready for it? Got to move the old truck because we're going to do a machinery shuffle. We got to use that tractor to hook up to the sunflower disc so that we can park the disc over here somewhere so that we can get the drain cart out and pull it out that way. That's the plan anyway. getting it out it's pretty tight there we have it we got the green card out got the wagon hosed off and put back in the shed now it's time to go do some mowing with the 7810 doing a little mowing a little pro farmer tip is to use the loader as your sun visor. Works pretty good. Don't hit any cows. It is now the next day. I finished up mowing and now I'm going to take the power stroke to Hastings. Some of you probably know where that's at. Got a few things to do there, and I gotta pick up something special for Kale. So, Laura and her parents went to Omaha today to go see Grandpa Kurt. He's still in the hospital. He uh, wasn't doing, didn't do so well last night, so he's still, uh, still hanging in there. But uh, anyway, the whole family's going. I had, I had some stuff to do around here, so I couldn't go today. But uh, keep praying for Papa Kurt, he needs it and uh so i think i'm going to take over the video for a day again so wish me luck <laughs> last one <laughs> i don't get near as many views as laura does but that's okay stopped in hastings met a guy from alamo it's nice to meet you and i'm making my way to go pick up something cool so i've picked up the special thing i'm not gonna tell you guys what it is but it's pretty cool. I'll get out and show you. Bet you guys never would have guessed. Got a dirt bike. This is for Laura's brothers. They're gonna have a good time out in the pasture. Should probably pull the tow mirrors out on the old uh, power truck. Whenever Laura's not with me, I get sandwiches. She doesn't like sandwiches. I love sandwiches. They're so good. Now it's time to go do some actual work. Change out of dude. I've changed into shorts now the cargo shorts nothing better we go clean out a pit fun fun and a shout out also have the new laura farm support the farmer shirts boys out american flag logo tractor flag also have hats up there go get you some get you prep for harvest and be sitting in the tractor cabin style. Thanks guys. We're at the home farm now and we're going to suck out the pit. It's not as big as Laura's pit, but we got a drag in here. It's full of water. 
So we got the 7810 hooked up to an oversized shop vac. PTO runs a big like blower and that creates a vacuum and sucks through this tube, which is reduced down to a shop vac size tube. So it'll really suck some juice out of here. We're adding water to loosen everything up down there. But there's just a big drag under here that drags all the corn up the leg. So we just clean it out every year before harvest. We cover it up, but water gets in it. Just, just does, can't keep it out. This thing is pretty much a big uh, supercharger like you'd find on a race car engine, root style blower. And instead of using the blowing power, we're using the sucking power of it. And then hydraulics. There's a little airlock right there, and it shoots it out the side. We got the PTO turning, and it's really loud out there. So I probably won't be able to talk much, but pretty soon water will be squirting out of there. We don't store any soybeans here, so the first part of harvest will be just hauling everything into town. But once we start picking corn, we'll be uh, doing late nights and uh, filling these bad boys up with corn. We've got it. our biggest bin is on the end here, and we have another leg. Uh, we just kind of expanded and pushed to the west, so kind of two grain systems merged into one. My grandpa first started building this bin site a long time ago. And there used to be a corn crib actually where I'm standing right here, where the legs are. There used to be a corn crib here. And that is the only original bin left from his setup. It's all been taken down and changed. Here it is. What do you think? Should I take it out for a test ride? I mean, I've already taken it out for a test ride, but take it out for a real test ride. Maybe I'll compare it to the Yamaha 230. See what I like better. Obviously, I'm a Yamaha dirt bike guy. We've got a few of them, but I am originally a Honda three-wheeler guy, so no hate for the red here, but much love for the blue. All right. First impressions of the bike, it's just like the Yamaha. You know, I usually ride a 450, but these little bikes are just so much fun. Overall, 
this is exactly the same bike. It's uh, they got drum brakes in the rear, six speed transmission, 230 cc. Honestly, they're about the same. I like the clutch on that one. I like how the handlebars feel better on this one. And I think the red one starts better. But this one's also a, I think it's a 2005. So that one's 10 years newer, but I haven't changed a thing. <laughs> Overall, these bikes are pretty much identical. They even have the same stickers from where they came from. I think the biggest thing about a used dirt bike is the person you buy it from. You gotta make sure you buy a nice bike that someone's taking care of it. Whatever you ride, just make sure it was owned by someone good or go buy a new one. Yeah, this thing's a nice little unit. I really like it.